related videos, lifestyle videos, and any videos that God puts on my heart. Today's video is super exciting. I'm going to be building a prayer tent, a war room, a prayer spot, whatever you want to call it. I am building a secret place. So as you guys know, um, God encourages us to have a secret place to go seek God and really having a spot and praying. I've seen the fruit of it in my own life, having a spot and having a time where I pray and I go meet God is really effective and it just yeah it just brings more intimacy with God and you get to know him better and it's just like your spot for you and God to meet and I want to share with you guys um, this idea that I had because it's amazing I actually tore everything down so I could rebuild it for you guys so that is what we're gonna do right now but I already went ahead and have the base down I wanted you guys to see how simple it is to build this you it comes with like different pieces and you literally just stick them together, tighten it, and that's it. That's what you have to do for this. And since I have the base in already, I'm just gonna go ahead and stick these down here. Okay, now that I put the base, I'm gonna go ahead and put these here and it's like the same thing guys it's so easy you just connect them it has that centerpiece connection and then it has like these at the end so this is going to be for the top part now we're going to grab these again and same thing as the other one super simple it's two pieces with the middle connecting piece And this is the very last piece, which is the top part. So let me stand up so you guys could see that. So this part literally just... Oh. Okay. So now, as you guys can see, the base is done. Now for the cover. The cover is next. And this part's a little bit tricky, but it's not too tricky once you get it on. So you just want to find the front of it first. So you guys see, just like that, this is the inside of the prayer room. So. Now what I'm gonna do, so you guys could see when I'm decorating it, I'm gonna go ahead and tie these here with these little strings right there. And this is what I have so far. And it's, like I just showed you guys, it's super simple to build. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna decorate the inside. And as you guys can see, it does have windows and you could like open them and stuff as well. You have to stick them in these little loops. I usually keep them like this though, but you guys can see that it has little windows as well. So let's get to it. So the first thing I wanna add to my prayer tent is gonna be like a carpet or a blanket, something at the bottom, because I personally do not like the white bottom. I don't wanna get it dirty. And I just feel like it would just be better if I have black. Just in case I have any spills because I do take coffee into my prayer spot. Here's my coffee. This is a pistachio um, cold brew. It's pretty good. Okay, so first thing, I'm going to put this blanket. This is not a carpet, guys. This is a blanket. Okay, so as you guys can see, I added the carpet and it looks really good. Next, next thing I'm going to do before, the next thing I'm going to add before I bring in um, my bookshelf is power. And everything that I'm showing you guys is going to be linked down below and they are my 
Amazon links and I do get a commission if you shop through them so if you guys do buy anything please shop through my links if you want to you're not you don't have to but I'm gonna go ahead and add power since it does have little windows I'm gonna stick it through the window because I have an outlet right here so just so it can have power in the tent and the reason why I need power in here is because I do use headphones when I pray or I use a speaker and I use my phone for music so I have to have some type of source of power in here so i'm able to charge my devices when i am in here so super simple because of the way i positioned it i'm able to just and i know you're able to see it now like the cord but you won't be able to see it once i add the the bookshelf and i am gonna add this little tree lamp on top of my bookshelf so this is the cord for it i'm gonna go ahead and plug it in now so i don't struggle to grab it once i add the bookshelf okay next thing we're gonna add is this bookshelf you guys my house is literally crazy right now so i'm gonna go ahead and put in this bookshelf this is from walmart it's so cheap guys so if you need a book uh like one of these bookshelves like don't waste your money. They're so cheap at Walmart and they do last a pretty long time. And they do carry a good amount of weight. I put a lot of books on my bookshelf. You guys, this is literally a workout. I think I'm sweating right now. Ow. Okay, come here. You guys are gonna come in here. As you guys can see, I've already placed some books here. Um, I do have some books that do go up here that I forgot about, like this one. My big old Bible goes up here, does it fit? Okay, all my books are on here. Now let's go down to a lower level. So now I'm gonna work on this shelf and right here I'm gonna put my Bibles and my books and my devotionals that I am reading at the moment, all these books um are part of the library right but i'm not reading them right now but the this one right here is going to be the books that i'm reading um i'm going to add these two that i just got into the books i'm reading right now and i'm also reading this one i already started this one the jezebel spirit and i'm reading master plan of evangelism so this is really good i have books that deal with my character books that deal with discipleship and books that help me in my prayer life so and then my bible I just got this one. This is a New King James Bible. Um, and honestly, I am a New Living Translation Bible gal. And this is not the easiest to read, just being honest. And I am reading it. I am reading John in it. But it's a little bit difficult. I'm not going to sit here and lie. So if you guys are beginners with the Bible, I recommend the New Living Translation. But if you do start off with the New Living Translation, I feel like this is a little bit harder to understand. That, that's that been the case for me, at least, because I always read the New Living Translation, and I just switched over to the New King James Version, and it's been a little bit difficult. But um, I'm just comparing the scriptures when I'm reading, just kind of to get to better under, to get a better understanding. My OG Bible, the one that I've had for a minute, my New Living Translation Bible, Man, this thing is the best. It's my favorite translation. New Living Translation is going to go right here with my two Bibles. So these are my two Bibles plus the books that I'm reading. So let me show you guys what I have so far. So I got my top shelf, which is just all my books, and then um, some of my Bibles. And I got my two main Bibles, New King James Version, New Living Translation. I got my devotionals and my books that I'm currently going to be reading. And now I have my very bottom shelf, which is going to be my planners and my notebooks and my headphones. So let's do that. My bottom shelf is going to be notebooks, planners, and that sort of stuff. Put my pens here. These are all my post-its and my um, bookmarks. <laughs> These are the headphones that I love to pray with, so I'm putting these in here. <laughs> now for the final touches on the bookshelf. Um, like I told you guys, I was going to add this light here, which I already have connected. Look at how cute that is. Okay, and now I'm going to add this um, little thing that says, Today I choose joy. Um, I did share that this year God really wants me to focus on joy and keeping my joy. So this was from Big Lots. It was closing down. My husband got it for like a dollar. But it's perfect for what God 
has been putting on my heart this year which is joy and just carrying joy and even the first book that i read this year was if satan can't steal your joy and just off to a great start and seeing this every day is really good because it just reminds me that god is calling me to have a very joyful year so i'm gonna go ahead and put this here i love praying with candles it's the best but bringing a candle in here is honestly not safe or the smartest things to do so i do have fake candles and these candles look very realistic so i actually had three but amelia needed the batteries from one of my candles so i only have two for one of her dolls okay look at how cool this little remote is boom you can even put timers and they look pretty real and they set the vibe really good so this area is done my bookshelf has really cool light uh, best thing ever today i choose joy seeing this every day is the best all my books my fake candles my main books my bibles the books i'm reading and then lastly like pens post-its headphones planner notebooks so that's it for this side now let's finish up this prayer room next thing you need to add to your prayer room is a chair okay because you want to make sure that you're comfy i have had this chair for over a year i actually got blessed with this chair on my birthday this chair right here um and my birthday is actually in a week one of you guys bought this off my registry and if you still watch my videos and you're watching this i just want to say thank you because this is my prayer chair this is where i encounter god this is where i cry out to god like this is the best gift ever so if you still watch my videos because someone got me this one of you guys got me this chair I am still praying on this chair till this day. Like, this is trailer days right here. When I lived in my trailer, this is my prayer chair. And my prayer spot literally used to be just this chair in a corner, which you guys can literally start off like that. But if you want to invest into a prayer room like I am here, I totally recommend it. Or you could even do this in your closet. I don't have a closet big enough to do this. But yeah, this chair is the best. So whoever got me this chair, thank you. If you still watch me, please comment down below. I want to thank you because you sewed literally the best chair ever my prayer chair i love this chair this is where i pray it's super comfy i love it i've always prayed on the ground so i've always had a chair like this i've never had a chair lifted off the ground and this i believe this is like this is like a gaming chair and you could fold it up to however you want so this is the chair that i am still using to this day that's gonna be part of my prayer room you see now that's in there Coming together, looking very nice. Prayer room is looking very good, very comfy, but usually, you know, it's not that bright. And this light up here actually gives enough light to read, but I'm extra and I like extra bright lights. When I read or I get like headaches, I believe it has to do something with my vision um, because I don't have 20-20 vision. I need a lot of light when I read. So I'm gonna stick in this lamp right here and this me and this lamp go way back okay this is the og lamp that i had in my trailer that i used while i pray as well so it's super cool that i have these stu this stuff this stuff still from my trailer even like this bookshelf it's not the same bookshelf from my trailer but i used to pray right next to a bookshelf so it kind of became my comfort like having a bookshelf right next to me when i pray so yeah that's kind of why i have all this stuff in here so I'm gonna add this light. So here it is, completed. This light is really good, it gives a lot of light for when you're reading. Super comfy chair, sometimes I do bring a pillow in here. And this lamp actually really works really well as a cup holder, watch, let me show you guys. So literally just put my, my drink there and it sits perfectly there, so that's usually what I do. But here's a prayer room and there it is guys the best prayer room ever and that gives you you know a little bit of privacy but what I like to do is I like to put a giant blanket over it and just have it completely covered. That's the way I like to do it when I'm praying. When I'm reading, I usually just take it down. But I do like to have it closed. So what I would do sometimes is just put a blanket up here and then just let it cover the whole thing in the whole front. 
and yeah you guys it's actually pouring right now which is crazy it never really rains here in california so not really used to this weather so i do want to show you guys the way i have it set up in the house as you can see i have it like in the corner so it doesn't take up too much space yes it does take up space and it does make it look a little bit more crowded but in all reality to me it's worth it because i have my own spot and i just love how it's enclosed and i get to just encounter god in here yeah this is the prayer spot and it's honestly been the best thing i've had it for already a week and i've noticed my prayer life get better just having the enclosure to me just seems more intimate and it seems more special and if you guys read the old testament they actually used to pray in tents which i think is so cool like the idea of just having a prayer tent is just amazing so it's been really good and i definitely encourage you guys to get a prayer tent if you're able to if you are not able to i suggest that you just have a special spot for you and jesus it doesn't have to be crazy it doesn't have to be a tent but i just wanted to share this for anyone that has been wanting to invest in having a spot and you don't have an extra closet if i had a closet i would literally do this inside a closet and dedicate it to just prayer but i don't have a closet big enough for me to do that and a closet that's empty for me to do that so this is why i came up with this idea because my husband does pray in the room and that's his prayer spot and i can't pray in there when he's praying in there so then i would have to pray here but it just didn't feel right because it wasn't like my spot my spot was also in the room because i was praying in the room as well i would just pray when he would go to work but in the morning when we both got up to pray it just became kind of like a problem for me so i decided to come up with this idea of a prayer tent and it's been super super amazing and super good for my prayer life my reading has gone up my prayer time has gone up and god looks at the heart you know if you're like over here building a place just for you and him even if it's just a tent or even if it's just a corner with a chair because my prayer spot used to be just this chair in a corner and before this tent was here all i had was like just my chair in a corner without this tent this was my prayer spot for a minute before i got the tent point is to make a spot just for you and jesus you want to be a man and a woman after god's own heart and you want to be someone that seeks god and to do that you have to be consistent and god says if you abide in me i will abide in you and i already have post-its that i was putting up and just like this is one of the scriptures i read every morning god is within her she will not fall god will help her at at break of day before you were born i set you apart jeremiah 1 1 5 and this is from isaiah i don't remember the exact scripture but it, this is the scripture i have called you by your name and you are mine these are just scriptures that i already had up in here but with you're able to even put post-its in here on the on the pipes that are right here so that is what i've been doing and I also have this in here. I put this under my couch because my couch is right in front of me. I can also go ahead and put it behind my my bookshelf. But what it is, is it's a desk. So when I start reading or I want to start writing, I'll have a desk and it opens up. And then boom, I have a desk in my prayer room. I just want to read a couple of scripture to you guys before I end the video. And when you pray, you must not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners, that they may be seen by others. Truly, I say to you, they have received a reward. But when you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your father who is in secret. And your father who sees in secret will reward you. And when you pray, do not heap up empty phrases as the Gentiles do, for they think that they will be heard for their many words do not be like them for your father knows what you need before you ask him and that is matthew 6 5 through 8 so he even says here like when you pray go into your room and shut the door and pray to your father who is in secret and your father who sees in who sees in secret will reward you hebrews 4 16 let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace that we may receive mercy and find grace and help in time of need if you humble yourself before god you get more grace he will give more grace to the humble so us humbling ourselves and drawing near to god in prayer is super super important and it says that we may receive mercy and find grace and help to help in time of need the prayer of a righteous person has great power as it is working 
So those are just some scriptures on prayer that I wanted to read to you guys. And just the importance of prayer. If you're someone that is Christian and you're going after God and you don't pray, it's really hard to stay in the spirit like that. The only way you could stay in the spirit is if you pray, is if you seek God, if you, is if you humble yourself and ask God for help. And by that I mean like, if you're having an attitude problem, if you're having a personal issue, if you're having a character problem, man, like, you just have to go to God. God deals with my character all the time. Like, even even when I'm being a certain way towards my husband or towards people, I'm just, I tell God, like, God, help me. I don't want to be this way. I don't want to be mean. Lord, what do I do? What do I say? And then God will just correct me. And never harshly, but he'll correct me and he'll guide me and he'll lead me in how I'm going to change and I know that the only way I'm going to change and not stay the same and grow is if I come into this room right here and I cry out to God and I ask him God help me Lord guide me and in here I receive confidence and not just confidence that you see in the world like confidence in God confidence in who I am I get reminded that I am you know that I am God's daughter before anything God, I'm God's daughter I get reminded that he's my father that he takes care of me that I don't have to worry and the only way I get get reminded of that is if I come in here and I humble myself and I I seek God and I ask him for help and I worship him and I praise him in here I cry out to him in here it's been amazing so I just really wanted to share this video with you guys because prayer is so important we're nothing without prayer we're nothing without him you can't find your identity in anything else but him and you can't look to anything else to satisfy you because nothing will satisfy you not your husband not your children not your ministry not your career like nothing will satisfy you nothing will satisfy you but jesus you just have to get to a point in your walk where you know and you realize that you're nothing without god or nothing without prayer like if I don't pray, I'll literally just be in the flesh, and me in the flesh, like, I'm just mean, I can be rude, and I will I will talk back to anybody. So, that's why I gotta stay prayed up, because I'm trying to stay in the spirit. I'm trying to be a good representation of what it means to follow God, and the only way to do that is through prayer, and allowing God to mold me, allowing God to purify my heart, to purify my motives, to purify my intentions, and the only way that could be done is in prayer, and reading the word, and reading books that are going to help me get closer to him, reading books that are going to help me with my character. I encourage you guys to build up a good little library of books that are going to help you, and then have a good word diet, and just stay in the spirit, and keep on praying and keep on seeking God and make sure you have a spot where you meet God and make sure you have a time when you meet God and just keep on seeking God. If you abide in Him, He will abide in you. If you draw near to Him, He will draw near to you. It's simple. We like to make it complicated. It's not complicated. All we have to do is draw near to God and He will draw near to us. So that's going to be it for this video. I love you guys so much and Jesus loves you guys so much. If you guys do end up buying anything, I'm going to have everything here um, that I built for the tent. It's going to be linked down below. If you are going to do that, go ahead and shop through my links. Love you guys. Bye.